What's going on guys, it is your boy Dancy and welcome back to another video on the channel. I just want to say Ramadan Mubarak to everyone that is taking part in Ramadan. Hope God blesses you and hope all your sins are forgiven in this holy month. And yeah, for today's video I am going to be reacting to the merciful servant who made a video called The World Changes Every Ramadan. So yeah, I have watched a little bit of this video but not the whole video. And I can say it's quite a scary, like frightening life lesson about what Ramadan is and what actually happens in Ramadan. Yeah, it does give you goosebumps is all I'm saying. So yeah, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, we're on the road to 10k, we're going faster and faster by the day. Um, comment down below what you thought, what you want to do next, and yeah, I'll catch you lot in the next shot. Peace. The Messenger Wasallam says in the authentic hadith, when it's the first night in Ramadan, the gates of paradise will be open, the gates of the hellfire will be, be shut. shut. Yep. And the shayateen, the main the devils. leader devils, will be chained and locked down. In this whole month, it will shut down, locked down. This is symbolism, this is truth. It's life. This is truth. These things happen in the world of the unseen. So the world changes. In Ramadan, the world changes. Shayateen, the most influential of shayateen, the most destructive of shayateen, will be locked down. They won't be able to travel around and affect people as they used to do exactly. outside Ramadan. So they've changed. Exactly. They're limited. The gates of paradise will be opened. They'll be wide open. And this has an impact on us. Yep. It has an impact on us. Exactly. The dynamics of what happens in the world change. The gates of the hellfire will be locked. So I'm already getting goosebumps. They will be locked. Oh my god. And this will have an influence on us. The scholars of Islam are agreed upon a fact. That we humans have two natures. Two dual natures. It's scary but it's the truth. It's very One scary. One is spiritual. spiritual. That's our soul. That's our soul. That's the invisible part of who we are. And this has a life of its own. And there is the visible side of us, which is the physical, physical side, side that we can see and touch. Exactly. The spiritual side of us has more of an angelic nature. It yearns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And upon death, these two natures will be separated. The soul will depart wow. the body. The soul is part of the world of the unseen. Mm -hmm. We can't touch it. We can't smell it. We can't taste it. We can't even hear it. Exactly. That's the soul, but that's who we really are. Haqiqatul mar'i nafsuhu, as the scholars say. The soul departs the body, the yeah, body exactly. turns into a corpse. corpse. Turns into pieces, pieces of Links to flesh. just life is the test. Like we're only here temporarily, we're not here permanently. The Prophet Sallallahu says in the authentic hadith, which is in a sahih Ma jalasa qawmun fi baytin min buyutillah. Just the visuals itself just gives you goosebumps to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually really scary. But that is what the truth is, guys. That is what life is and what Ramadan is. Any group of people who gather together in a masjid, in one of the houses of Allah, they recite the book of Allah, the words of Allah, and they study it. Except that serenity peace and tranquility will descend upon them exactly and the angels will rub shoulders with them angels will be among them around them rubbing Ay, shoulders Ramadan is key them. you pray you read the quran and allah would mention be a better muslim to the highest ranking angels some of the scholars, as they were commenting on this hadith, they say a sakina, which is tranquility and peace that descends upon them, is a sign of the presence of the angels. angels. As Imam Al Qayyim says in, a, in more than one of his books, he says a sakina comes with the angels. This peace and tranquility and serenity that you feel sometimes when you're reciting Quran oh. or reading Quran or mm -hmm. listening to a lecture or attending a halaqa or praying behind an imam or doing something good, this Sakina shows the angels are around. It, it marks the, the presence of the angels. You don't figure this out with your brain. Exactly. 
You don't feel the angels physically. You don't touch them. You don't smell them. You can't see them and you can't hear them. So which part of you figures them out? That feels this sakin and this peace and serenity and tranquility. Which part of you? Wow. It's the spiritual side. Sadhu. Yeah, exactly. It's the spiritual side. So Sadhu. since we feel the pre- our souls feel the presence of the, the angels. angels don't you think the soul feels that the gates of paradise are open? Exactly. The gates of the hellfire are locked. locked. The shayateen are locked down. It does. And that's why most of us... It's the month of change. Allah, the month of being a better person. More eagerness to worship Allah. Spirit. Exactly. That's what happens during Ramadan. This is what happens. This is why Ramadan is a special time. <coughs> These things are not a figment of imagination that we that we're just talking about in a, in a symbolic sense. These are realities of life. These are things that are happening. So in the first night of Ramadan, the the dynamics of the world change, and your soul resp- responds to that. So this is why Ramadan is a point for us to really upgrade our iman, our faith. upgrade our, the level of our taqwa and connection to Allah. Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Exactly. That video is giving me goosebumps. But what can I say? It's just the scary and truth of life of what Ramadan is. The shaitan are locked up. Paradise is open. This is a month of praying. The month of forgiveness. The month of rectifying all your mistakes. It is that month. Yeah, guys. That is the scary truth. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below what you thought. And yeah, I'll catch you in another video. Salam.